Though it's just a small detail, being able to round or sharpen corners in Adobe Illustrator can be a useful thing. Luckily, it's pretty easy. We can open a file, like this one here, and create an object with corners, say a rectangle. It can be any size. The key to rounding the corners without having to use the rounded rectangle tool is to go to the Effect menu. So we leave the object selected, go to Effect, and then the subsection for Illustrator Effects. Specifically, we go to the Stylize command, and from there we slide over to the submenu and select Round Corners. When we get into the dialog box, we specify the radius. This is just like what we mean by half the diameter of a circle. It tells us how sharp the rounding will be. The larger the number, the gentler or bigger the curve. We can specify the radius at whatever number we want. Click OK or hit Enter, and it's done. If I now zoom in a little, we can see that the corners have indeed been rounded. We can use this on just one corner by selecting it with the Direct Selection tool first, but one way or the other, it's easy to implement these curves. The kicker is how we would go about changing the rounding. If we go through the same procedure again, Effect Menu to Illustrator Effects, Stylize, and Round Corners as before, we're told it will apply another instance of the effect, and we usually don't want to do this. Let me cancel out of here. The trick, then, is to go to the Appearance panel, which normally stores the setup for this sort of thing on each object. We leave the object selected, go to the Window menu, and click on Appearance here. If we select the object, or make sure it stays selected, then double-click or otherwise select the effect, the dialog, from the Appearance panel. We can change the radius. Here I'll spin it up to half an inch click OK in the box once more, and the radius increases. And we will not have any redundant data in the Appearance panel. We'll only have the one instance of the rounded corners. We can also go to the Appearance panel and remove the rounded corners entirely. All we have to do is drag the round corners attribute to the trash can at the bottom of the panel, and let go, and it goes away. In newer versions of Illustrator, there are often handles within the objects to allow for rounding corners. You may have noticed when I first drew the rectangle, we saw those handles, these little dots, popping up just inside the corners. But the technique that I've shown you here works in every version of Illustrator that has the round corners item under the Effect menu, and it has the advantage of letting us type in the exact radius we need to three or four decimal points if need be. Some kinds of precision machining, such as laser cutting, either require that or can otherwise use it to advantage.